Hi, this is Josh with Resort TV One, and today I'm at Disney Springs, and I'm going to show you some of the new stores that are open here. Lots of new stores have opened in the last week or two, and so we're going to walk around the whole area and just see what's open and what's not. So, hope you enjoy the video. Please remember to leave us a like and a comment, as well as subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already done so. Also, be sure to follow us on social media. We're Resort TV One on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, let's get started. And as you might have guessed by the way I started the video here, Once Upon a Toy is now open. It's been open for a few days now. And uh, we're going to go inside and take a look around, but the familiar photo spots here with Mr. Potato Head and Buzz Lightyear are here, as well as the social distancing markers on the ground, but currently no wait to get inside. So as it says on the ground, we are going to get started here in Once Upon a Toy. And hand sanitizer as you come in, which is a welcome, welcome thing. Hello, how are you? Got the green aliens circling on a track above the store here. And of course this store used to be much, much bigger. Way, way before the closure, they uh, took the middle section out for the Star Wars Void experience, which is still not open. And then behind that is the Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique. So this store is much, much smaller than it used to be, which is a shame. I do kind of miss it. But you see a lot of the toys here that you would see at a lot of the other areas and most of these are available in the world of Disney. I don't think all of them are. I'm not sure if the the big train sets are but definitely some of these are available in the world of Disney. Nice thing is though this store is not usually as busy so there may be better selection here. Sounds like a little squeaky in the uh, track above here. Looks like we've got what appears to be Figaro in Minnie's little trailer there. That's a lot of fun. <laughs> So this is really cool. Some of the game boards up above, right by the track there. Magic Skyway Monorail there game. I don't know if that was actually a real game. I think it was. See the monorail coming out of the contemporary there. So, and a great selection of stuffed animals from all different movies and cartoons. So, always good to see that. Love seeing the Cheshire Cat down there too. And as you can see the balloon overhead there, that is back open. And we'll go take a look at that here in a little bit. But the pin station is open here. So there's one entrance, and then the exit is on this side by the train, which is not operating yet. So let's go inside. Hello. Good. I love how when you enter, there's hand sanitizer all over the place. That's good. That's one of the things I had a complaint about at Universal was that there wasn't enough hand sanitizer just out where you could get to it. The team members had it, but always oh, nice to have it where you can just grab it and go so a lot of great pens here I'm not a pen trading expert like uh, some people in our community like Donna Jaworski and some others but if you are a pen trader you will probably appreciate some of the things I'm seeing leave me a comment if you see anything you like there's some more of that hand sanitizer Ooh, these are kind of cool got some Peter Pan stuff here including flying Peter Pan as well as Skull Rock Tinkerbell lots of great stuff here Love the spaceship with Mickey ears there. Really awesome. And Figment, of course, next to that. And of course, I'm most interested in the attractions, and I do see a lot of great attractions pins here. Great stuff. Feel free to pause and rewind if you want to look at anything again. Just giving you a quick overview here, some from the resorts. Let's see Yacht Club, Boardwalk, I saw uh, Pop Century. Lots of great ones. And then some cruise line stuff. So if you're a pin trading person, let me know if you saw anything you liked. I'm glad Mickey and Minnie are still here having a good time. Of course, uh, they hadn't seen anybody for a while, and this is not an exit, so you just have to keep going around. They've got this roped off, probably so people don't come in this way, so they can control the area since it is a small store. And they also have quite an assortment of magic bands. I like the blue one there with the crush and squirt. It's kind of cool. Cheshire one is neat. And just some different colors. I kind of like the uh, dark blue actually. It's really nice. Some pastel colors and some darker colors, even a lavender and a dark gray there. So lots of great ones. This one's kind of cool, a retro 
70s style Walt Disney World. And we'll exit over by the train. And I don't know uh, when the train will open up again, but it will be nice because I know Liam will enjoy that when it is back open. So that'll be nice to see. So I mentioned the train wasn't open, but the carousel is open. So this is actually the only attraction here at Walt Disney World that is open. It's actually a ride open here at Disney Springs. And I know they're limiting the amount of kids and they're disinfecting between times that the kids ride it. So I do hope everybody's being safe there. It looks like they've got their wipes over there on the, on the uh, cast member stand. And so hopefully everybody's being safe. But yep, the uh, carousel is open. It's got some beautiful images on top of it too. Got beautiful blue skies here today. Such a nice carousel. And just across from the carousel, we've got the Star Wars trading post. And you can see right here in the front where you would normally go in is an exit only. So we're going to try and go around here to the side, I believe must be the entrance or maybe it's on the other side. So let's go find the entrance. So the entrance here is on the side facing towards the train. So there you go. Nice to be back in here. A lot of great merch from the different movies. I think Liam needs a Darth Vader outfit, although he's too nice. So everything pretty similar to how it was before. Mostly the same merchandise. Love the little Ewok back here. So it looks like $22 if you buy two. We got a lot of the Mandalorian stuff here with the child. And this is actually really cool. I hadn't seen this one. It's a spirit jersey, but it is uh, Luke with the binary sunset, which is so cool. Beautiful color. So it's good to see the original trilogy getting some love as well. Naps and snacks. I know these aren't new, but still love the child. I think pretty much everybody loves the child, right? Baby Yoda. <laughs> and right next door, Goofy's Candy Company is still closed, so that will probably open at a later date. Not sure why that one hasn't opened yet. Maybe they just feel like it's too small or they're just not quite ready to open it yet. Huge update though is the Days of Christmas store. One of my favorite shops here at Disney Springs is open and the entrance is actually just opposite of Rainforest Cafe and the Goofy Candy Company. So let's go on in and check it out. Hi, how are you? You can actually see how they have you come in kind of a roundabout way and that allows a little bit more social distancing as you enter. So they're really controlling the uh, crowd flow here, which is good. And I'm sure everybody's noticed this, but I love how all these little displays are like huge Christmas trees and Christmas tree stands. Oh my goodness, that is so cool. Look at Mr. Toad there, little focus. Wow, 70. So this is like a legacy collection and 65 on the Nautilus there. Does that mean it's been 65 years, I guess? Interesting. Jenna would love this. Look at the Dale Nutcracker. That's awesome. Disney Springs isn't too busy tonight, but this store is absolutely deserted, which is always good, especially that we can respect social distancing. And here we are in the back. More toys and different themes here. They've even got some Halloween type stuff back here. Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, which is really cool. There's the wreath from the How to Mansion Holiday. And you come out over here by the Art of Disney, which appears to still be closed. We'll take a look. Of course, the fountain is off for safety reasons, and the walkway to Saratoga is closed for now, but uh, should be open when the resort opens back up. So it'll be nice to get back over there and walk around a little bit. It's always nice to take a stroll over at Saratoga when you're at Disney Springs. So yep, as I suspected, the Art of Disney is closed. I think what they're doing is just gradually opening based on uh, the amount of staff that they have to run these and the amount of guests that they feel like will come. And of course, they've got to balance all that with, you know, making money, profit, and uh, labor costs and all that. So I'm sure that's what they're doing. And it is almost seven o'clock and you can see this whole area is very nearly deserted. So that shows you uh, just how few people are here right now. So Rainforest Cafe, still closed, as well as the shop. 
so hopefully they'll open that soon. Uh, T-Rex is open, so hopefully Rainforest will open soon, but it's been closed and uh, no plans or no announcements about opening it at this point. And actually one of my favorite things about being here at Disney Springs is really just strolling around and especially strolling around with the lack of crowds. It's just really relaxing. So even though a lot of the stores are closed, even though there's not as much to do, it's nice to stroll around with a very, very light crowd. So let's enjoy some beautiful scenery on our way to check out the rest of the shops. Trying out the wide angle here a little bit. Wow. This new gimbal I've got allows me to use the wide angle lens a little bit more, so that'll be nice. I don't want to use it all the time, but really, really nice to see just how much we can get in the shot here. So we'll head over into town center here so we can check out some of the new stores that are open here as well on our way over to the west side and there's a lot of new things open in the west side so here we are on the side entrance the door you actually go into for world of disney and actually all the stores down here are open you've got world of disney of course Amaretz, uh the levi store we're not going to go in all of them volcom and harley davidson is actually still closed so uh, harley is the only one that is still closed but again we're not going to go in these we'll go in some of the ones on the west side here but most of them open and i will say a lot of people seem to come through the lime garage if you can get into the orange it's usually less crowded they are testing new security procedures in the lime which i didn't go in i parked in the orange but um, it's kind of a contactless bag search so i hope that those will be implemented in the parks eventually but there's no photo or a video allowed, of course, in security ever. So not, not something we can show you, but uh, something cool to see if you are here. And Ron John is open here, so that's always good to see. Of course, if you don't know, the original Ron John is uh, in Cocoa Beach, a really, really cool place. So super dry is open. Again, a lot of these have opened in the last couple weeks. They definitely weren't all open on opening day. I don't know exactly when they all opened, but most of these are open down here. Looks like this store stance. It's hard to tell if that one's open or not. Nice and orderly, citizen. Looks like it is. Keep moving. Oh. Okay. They do Maybe have the stormtroopers up here. Authority. Excuse me? Make a look. Show them who's in charge. Like this. Hey, you with the face covering. They all have face covering. Well, we made them all look. And now they know who's in charge. Yep. Now you can already citizen. Keep moving. So awesome. They've been out here since the day that the uh, World of Disney stores reopened. Definitely more crowds over here in town center. You can see there's a little bitty line to get into Sephora, not too bad. They're really limiting the amount of people in there, which is good though. Still not that many people, uh, and the guy is giving them instructions on how they are running their operations with uh, selecting items and things like that. Looks like Lacoste is open. And next week the buses to the resorts will start running when the resorts start opening on Monday, so those barricades will be down and uh, they will be welcoming guests there on the buses so that'll be interesting and here we are in the market stalls and it looks like uh, Lily Pulitzer is not open oh no they are open earlier they just have different store hours nine people in the store it says it's like Sperry oh they're only open till seven a lot of them so operating hour 11 to 7 store capacity 15 okay Looks like most of these stores are open, or at least are open at different points in the day, and they all have restrictions on how many people 
And it's interesting that some of them have it posted and uh, some of them don't, but looks like everything going pretty smoothly in the market stall. So good to see. And again, social distance markers, just in case there becomes a line, but I don't think these stores usually get that busy. Chicken guy looks like it's fairly busy as always. No line outside though, so that's good. Definitely more people coming in as it shifts towards evening. So it's just past seven. So I, I really do think if you come earlier in the day, especially on a Tuesday, like I'm filming this, is that uh, you'll have less crowds then. Probably pretty self-explanatory, but just a tip for anybody who didn't know or who wanted to know when to come to Disney Springs. Earlier, always better. Just like the parks. Balloons running, but definitely the wind's pushing it to one direction. I can't see anybody on there. I've actually seen them running it empty a few times, and I've seen them running it with guests on it. So it's interesting to see how they run it and uh, what the criteria is. I'm not sure what the the uh, limit for the number of guests on there is. So it looks like they are definitely accepting guests. There's a few people people in line, fairly socially distanced. You got to sign all the waivers and stuff to go on it. It may be one family at a time or two families at a time on either side of the uh, balloon. I'm not sure. So a big update to this side is that the Disney style store is open. Always nice to see that one open. A lot of cool merchandise here and uh, cool clothes and different things to look at here on the west side. It's good to see the Disney themed stuff on the west side as well. And the entrance is over here on the side. And I do think one of the complaints against uh, the size of Disney Springs now is that there's a bunch of stores that... Yeah, you could find anywhere in any mall or any city. And so it's nice to see stuff like Disney style where it's a little bit more unique here at Disney Springs. It's nice to see the Muppet merch there. Got Kermit and animal socks. This is really cool. It's uh, time to remember the magic. It's a play off the 25th anniversary celebration that started in 1996 here at Disney World. And of course you can see the birthday castle there, which is really, really cool. Not something that was super popular, but uh, it was unique for sure. I've got to do short clips here because of all the copyrighted music, but I love that picture of the castle. We'll be seeing it in person soon, and it'll look a lot different than that, actually. I will say the quirky shirts here and things that are a little bit more, you know, eclectic and uh, maybe off the beaten path of Disney is really cool to see. The Gadget shirt, Spoonerville, Bobby's Pizza, Power Lines, all good stuff. Okay, I really love the Rescue Rangers phone case. That is really, really cool. Unfortunately, it's not from my phone, but really neat to see anyway. And of course, you got the teacup here so you can sit and have your picture taken and feel like you're on the Mad Tea Party even though it's not open yet. And we showed on one of the live streams, but Starbucks is open. Of course, the lobby of the coffee shop is not open, but you can go inside and get your drink there, so. Jenna at least loves that. I'm not a huge fan of Starbucks, but I know Jenna and mom and several others enjoy that. And another big update is the Star Wars Galactic Outpost is open here on the west side. So we'll go check that out and see if we can get in and see if we have to wait at all. Fairly similar merge to the trading post on the other side, but still nice to see it on the west side. Hello. All right, so we got some of the similar merchandise. We got in, didn't have to wait too long just a minute or so. It was interesting, there was a family that was upset in front of me that they couldn't come in, they had kind of a large group and uh, they said they had to wait until the capacity was down in the store, but uh, they didn't want to wait, so people just have to be patient. There's another one I hadn't seen here, the Hoth Spirit jersey. Well, maybe I'd seen it once, but uh, it's really, really cool. It kind of reminds me of the old Star Wars Atari game. And of course, capacity in here, this is a small store, so it's definitely really low capacity, but you can still make your own no lightsaber, I guess, is closed, but you uh, hopefully eventually will be able to still make it. But not a lot of people in here, which is good. It makes you feel very safe. This uh, sand crawler is so cool. Something very similar to uh, what's on the first movie, I believe. Yep, the, the Jawas and the gonk droids included. Hadn't seen that shirt before. This is uh, The Force is Strong with this child. That's pretty awesome children's shirt there. So yeah, that was interesting. I hope I don't have to cut any of that out with all the Star Wars music in there, but it's always good to hear it. So, really interesting, like I said, they were counting people on their app, and then when people went out, then some more could come in. But these smaller stores, capacities are limited, and so that's very, 
understandable and just remember to be patient with the cast members when you come because they're just doing their jobs and trying to keep everybody safe. And the Marvel Superhero Headquarters store is also open. I'm not going to wait to go in there. Fairly similar to what's been in there before, uh, but I would assume the capacity is very, very small due to the store being a small size as well. And the Candy Cauldron is also open and again, a very, very small shop. So again, the capacity has to be really limited. I'd say maybe seven or eight people is all they're putting in some of these stores. So it's good. It makes you feel safer for sure. And the Pele Soccer Store was open before as well as the Sosa Cigar Company. So both of those were open before. The Beatrice Market on my right is not open yet. Ample Hills not open, but I heard Ample Hills is having some financial trouble, so hopefully they can come back from that because they've got some really, really great ice cream. And the AMC is still not open, and I don't see any stormtroopers on this side either. They're just there in the town center where I showed before. So, and Splitsville still closed as well. Now, according to Florida law right now, you actually can open movie theaters, but I'm not sure exactly when they plan to open the AMC. I haven't heard. And you can see the pop gallery down there is open, probably at pretty limited capacity. But once you pass Splitsville, you've got Haleo here, House of Blues, those are all closed. All the way down, of course, to the huge NBA experience. So everything down here is going to be closed, including the surface parking and the valet, I believe, is also closed down here. So really, the only reason to walk down here is just to uh, stroll around. It's a great view, though. Clouds are slowly peeling back and revealing a beautiful blue sky. So we'll head up the ramp into the landing area here and check out the stores and restaurants that are open up here. As you can see a helicopter flying overhead up there just a second ago. So again, showing this on the live streams, Pizza Ponte is open, or Ponte, sorry if I said that wrong, but Maria and Enzo's is not open currently. Even though indoor restaurants can go, I believe, to full capacity now in Florida, but Edison also still closed. Disney's being a little bit more cautious than a lot of people in the rest of the state, and that's probably a good thing. So you've got the Ganachery is open now, obviously really limited capacity for it being a very small store. A Sanook is open as well. Savannah Bee Company is open. Art of Shaving I missed back there, but it was open as well. Uh, Oakley is only open until 7. And the hangar bar is still closed. No word yet on the reopening for that, but I would assume a lot of these will be open by the time the park's open in a few weeks. Of course, Wine Bar is open and has been really since the very beginning. They've got a lot of outdoor seating, so that's good. Let's head down here by Raglan Road. So Raglan Road is actually open. And the uh, Tonsil Tickler Bar, which is this area here, is open as well. Nice, very socially distanced. And here you can see Raglan Road's procedures for keeping everybody safe, which is always good. There's the entrance, they're uh, doing hand sanitizer and checking everybody's temperatures and really doing a great job. Also the hole in the wall bar is now open as well as Cooks of Dublin. So everything in this complex over here is open, which is great. And also just across the water over here, Sprinkles is open, the Cupcake ATM outside as well as indoors in a very limited capacity. So if you're really needing that sprinkles cupcake fix definitely you can come over here and check that out and as we head over here to check out the last couple places that are open just a couple thoughts and observations you know this is a difficult time to come to the parks and i've said a few times you know if this is your vacation or if you live really far out of state or something like that or if anybody in your family is immunocompromised or has any underlying conditions this is really not the time for you to come down here it's just a really difficult time to visit and you can tell I have to pause a little more to take a breath because I've got the mask on so it's fun and if you're local it makes sense to come out and enjoy but 
you know, if you are from far away, there's just so many things and so many other factors that you really should think about possibly postponing another year until things really get back to normal. And one of the biggest things I notice is that even though everybody in all the restaurants and stores and cast members are doing a great job trying to keep everybody safe, there's really just no foolproof way to do that. And if you walk around here long enough, you'll find things that probably should be a little bit safer than what they are. So it's definitely something to consider is that, you know, a lot of the things put in place are helpful, but definitely not foolproof. And paddlefish is open here, so that's always good to see. As well as Terralina, also open. Well, we're almost back to where we started. So we hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope what I said earlier made sense. Uh, you know, there's just a lot of a lot of ifs, ands, buts, and things that just really make, um, you know, being here a little bit different, or I should say a lot different than normal. So definitely really think about whether you want to do that with your family this time. If you want to come down here and really be okay with all the changes, great. If not, it's, it's uh, really okay to wait another year. So that's kind of my point. I hope I made sense when I was saying that. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this look at all the different things that are open and uh, hopefully more of these things that are closed will be opening soon. It'll be great to get back into the art store. That's the one I'm most excited about reopening. So be sure to leave us a like and a comment as well as subscribe and hit that notification bell. Check it to all notifications if you haven't already done so. Also, be sure to follow us on social media. We are Resort TV One on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, be sure to check out our sponsors, MickeyBlog.com and MickeyTravels.com for the best in free Disney vacation planning advice. Go check out MickeyTravels.com to book your next trip to Disney. It doesn't cost any more than a regular Disney vacation at MickeyTravels.com. And finally, if you're thinking about moving to Central Florida, talk to Victor Naraki at CelebratingFlorida.com or Facebook.com slash Naraki Realtor and tell him that Resort TV One sent you. And even if you're thinking about it in the future after all this is over, he can still talk to you about your dreams now. So thanks for watching, everybody. It was really fun to walk around Disney Springs with everybody tonight. Be sure to leave a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, we'll see you soon. So for now, have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great, big, beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye.